following on from the last video, the parts that I was waiting for have now turned up. So I've now got the new sprocket nuts, new bearing, and a new outer seal. Um, again, I've used these many times before. These are from Wemoto. They are just down the road from me, so they are quite easy to get hold of stuff. So that's got to be fitted today. Also, if you remember, when I did the footrest hanger, took off the brake master cylinder, cleaned that up. That's now dry, so that can now be refitted. And also, get some wraps, the uh, replacement shock. Because obviously the problem I had was because I've changed to a different swing arm, I hadn't taken into, into account the actual shock. As I said before, booster swing arm, uh, booster rear shock is a 330mm. Obviously I've changed swing arm which is shorter. I've done a mock up with dog bones and made it out to be about 340. The S grade shock is actually 355. So jump on eBay. There we go. It's not actually in bad condition. It is going to need a bit of a clean up, but uh, I think this was about 20, 20 quid plus postage. So that's got to go in today. Alright, so let's get this shocking. Right, there it is in the top, just got to get the bolt through. As you can see there's the top one in, it's just loose at the moment. Right, so that's the back one in. Just got to get this one. Just get that bolt through. All right, that one's in. Needed some uh, gentle persuasion. All right, so all that's left now is 
get these dog bones in position. And bolt them up. All right, it's all back together. Unfortunately, I had to use longer dog bones because the ones I had in there were slightly too short, but it has lifted the back end swing arm up, which is not what I want, so I've got hardly any gap. So I'm going to have to readdress that and look at uh, different length dog bones. The ones I had, which are these ones here, they literally need to be about there. The ones I've had to use are about there. But the main thing is the shock's in, but it's incredibly low. But that was the main aim, is actually just get that shock in. Now I can look at the rear wheel. Get the sprocket carrier off and get that all fixed. Uh, all done up with the uh, new bearing seal. Put the bolts back in, mount the sprocket. Probably that'll be it for today. But no, that's very low, so that's going to have to be addressed. Alright, sprocket carries off. Hasn't been a tremendously successful day today. Um, just taking the bearing out. That's the size of the bearing that came out. It's the size of the bearing I've been sent. Unusual because I've never had a problem with Rimoto, so uh, I'll get on the phone to them. Also, the other problem I've just come across as well is the sprocket I picked up. This was online, <laughs> this don't fit either, it's totally nothing lines up. So that's going to have to go back as well. So that really, uh, has messed up today. Good part is though, the seal. is the right size. But I can't actually fit anything because obviously the bearing is going to have to go back I'm not putting that back in that's absolutely had it let's actually see if the uh... oh bonus sprocket nuts fit Uh, it's unfortunate sometimes these things happen. So it was good the shock actually turning up. But obviously now I've got an issue with the dog legs where it's the only ones I've got. I've reduced it far too low. So I could have used, I could have stuck back on the old sprocket for now, but 
without the right size bearing. Well, it's stumped at the moment, so that'll have to be left to one side. Obviously, I've got to sort these out, but I can get on with the brake master cylinder. All right, I can use some fresh Allen bolts. just the bottom to connect. Right, bolts fits through. There's a split pin the other side. It's done. Looks a lot better. All right, last thing to do before fitting, I might change the actual reservoir. Not sure yet. do need to do is put the hose back in. There we go, that's all done. All right, let's get that on the bike. That'll probably be the last thing today. Right, there we go. All I've got left is the footrest to sort. And the, the other thing is, is the switch. Just in there, which is easy enough to do. Size all sorted. So during the week, I'll uh, pop back to get that bearing swapped, get the right size. As I say, very unusual for them. So, as I say, these things happen, mistakes can't be helped. All right, so thanks for joining me on that one. Sorry, that was a bit of a bit of a disaster this week. Um, but as I say, these things do happen. Uh, it's it's not too much of an issue. Um, but 
but uh, I'll get them parts sorted out. I've got a friend that can actually press the bearing in for me. So I'm going to get that pressed in. So, uh, as usual, subscribe button in the bottom, uh, bottom right hand corner of every video and links to other videos top left and top right. I am on Patreon as I said before. Um, it is a great help to me. Um, I do have some pay I do have a few patrons at the moment which basically help me out with sandpaper accessories um, you know obviously that the, the light that's that's been a big help there's a link in the description below to my patreon page so please please help and please support I do appreciate all your feedback as well comments in the comments box below as usual I do a appreciate all your comments you've had some fantastic comments and ideas which has helped me a lot um, as I say if anybody's got any ideas on obviously on the rear end with the dog bones then let me know um, I'd love to hear from you join me again next time thanks for watching cheers bye